It's eight o'clock on Thursday morning and we're in and just getting ready to start moving things around and make decisions about where pictures are going to go in the exhibition. And normally at this stage, we have about four days between now and when we start to hang the exhibition. You'd like to know more or less exactly where everything's going, but we don't have that luxury this year. We do have a very good starting point though. Uh, the picture behind me is one of a pair of paintings that James Dixon made of Tory Island. And together they make a sort of a panoramic map of the island. Um, but they're very long and we only have two walls that they fit on side by side. This wall and the one upstairs. So it's not the toughest decision in the world <laughs> to pick one of them. Last time we showed them upstairs, maybe five years ago. So we're going to go downstairs this time. The Galway Art Centre exhibited these about 15 years ago. And the curator there hung them very close to the ground so that children could see them. So they were, they were at children's eye levels and it worked brilliantly. I was really impressed and I've copied it every chance I've got since. Um, and I think children are bored in exhibitions because everything's literally above their head and all they can see when they walk around is white wall. Uh, so hanging pictures at their level isn't a particularly novel idea, but it's quite risky because when you do that, then all adults can see is white wall and they get bored. The children don't complain, but the adults do. <laughs> um, so, and they have the control. Uh, and we found that out a few years ago with a Polarego exhibition that we borrowed from the British Council. It was a series of drawings that she did for her young granddaughter of nursery rhymes. And it was just a perfect fit for hanging them low down for the kids. And the kids loved it. They were really into it. But the adults really didn't enjoy the exhibition at all. And uh, we solved the problem by putting a lot of seats into the gallery. And once the adults sat down, they got into it as well. Um, these James Dixons are funny, though, because they do work for adults when they're hung low down. And I think it's because they're map-like. And adults can read them quite easily as maps when they're standing up looking down at them. Children, on the other hand, haven't forgotten how to paint yet. Uh, so they're really, they really love this picture and they'll stand in front of it for hours, uh, mesmerized by it. So hanging it low down leaves a bit of space above, above it on the wall. And um, what I want to try this time is I want to hang a few other paintings that we have of harbors. The harbor features very prominently in these two pictures. Um, and I don't know if that's going to work or not. So it'll be interesting to see. So maybe if you do get a chance to come over the summer and see it, you could maybe give us a little bit of feedback and tell us if you think it works or not. So those are the sort of decisions that we're going to be making over the next uh, three or four days. And we'll check in with you again and let you know how we're getting on.